Good afternoon everyone. Today we'll be presenting our Vehicle Delay Study Lab. This presentation was created and prepared by Angel Vasquez, Jesus Gonzalez, Luis Guadarrama, and myself, Aaron Ruiz. For our lab, we will be analyzing the three northwest bound lanes on South Marietta Parkway Southeast, as well as its one north bound right turn lane. The data was analyzed and collected from our previous footage that we recorded at the peak hours of 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday, February 6, 2024. This is the angle at which the data was collected. It took around 18 minutes to get 350 cars to move through the forward lane and around 50 minutes for 350 cars to move through the right lane. Our group observed the different lane groups that approached the intersections. The three forward lanes approached a stop controlled intersection, while a right turn lane approached proper signage to allow for a smooth transition onto Car Parkway. The way we extracted our data was by observing the number of vehicles stopped at each lane group for every 15 second time interval. For each 60 second time interval, we recorded the number of vehicles used in the lane group. This process was continued until a minimum of 350 vehicles were recorded. With this data, we go on and categorize the level of service for each approach. Our group collectively worked together to collect the footage of our project study point. Angel went through and collected all raw data from the footage. I went through and created our introduction and effort statements. Asus prepared our discussion for the lab and Luis produced the conclusion. The four moving lanes had a total volume of 367 vehicles in a span of 18 minutes. A total of 234 vehicles had to stop before crossing. When multiplied by the time interval of 15 seconds, it shows that over 16,000 vehicle seconds were lost during the 18 minute period. The average delay was found by dividing the total delay by the total volume and multiplying it by the error factor of 0.9 which results in an average of 39 seconds per vehicle. This results in a level of service of C. The right lane had a total volume of 359 vehicles in the span of 50 minutes. A total of 111 vehicles had to stop before crossing. When multiplied by a time interval of 15 seconds, it shows that 5,805 vehicle seconds were lost during the 50 minute period. The average delay was found by dividing the total delay by the total volume and multiplying by an error factor of 0.9, which results in an average of 14.5 seconds per vehicle. This results in a level of service of B. For the discussion, we wanted to take an analysis of the level of service for the traffic study area. For forward lanes, the level of service is categorized as C. This means the speed and maneuverability are closely controlled because of higher traffic volume. For right turn lanes, the level of service is categorized as B. This means the speed is restricted by travel conditions, which can cause minor delays. Heavy traffic on all four sides cause delays all around. Additional traffic blocking intersections cause further delays. The delays are acceptable when considering the heavy flow of traffic going in all four directions. A delay of 39 seconds is not bad when considering the light changes roughly every two minutes. Things cannot be improved at this location by just changing the signal timing. The issue is rooted much deeper and the volume of these two rows show us that the issue has to do more with heavy traffic rather than poor signal timing. There is no current way to improve the intersection. It is currently functioning at its best of its abilities. However, the, with future population growth, the inter intersection might need to undergo physical changes rather than signal timing. 